Cal BHP UK and this is just a quick walkthrough video on how to use our ECU flasher to program your vehicle. In the box you will find an ECU flasher, a quick instruction guide, a lead to connect to your vehicle and a USB lead to connect your flasher to your PC. Now the first thing that we need to do is we need to install the software onto our PC. So the first thing you need to do is open your web browser and simply type in tinyurl.com forward slash BHP UK flasher. That address is on the instruction leaflet. If you get a security message like this, you simply press keep and that will let you do the download. Alternative to this, you can simply go to our website, which is bhp-uk.net and you will find this software download button here at the very top. You simply click on that and it will do the download for you. Once you have the software downloaded, all you need to do is go to your downloads and double click on ECU flasher like this. That will open the file and then you can run the application. Again, you may get a security warning like this. You click on more information and click run anyway. Don't worry, we're not trying to infiltrate your computer. Just trying to make your bike go faster. Welcome to the ECU flasher setup wizard. Select the language that you would like. Just keep following the prompts and accepting the license agreement. You can accept that you want the software to run. And finally click finish and you will then have the icon on your desktop. At this point you can plug your ECU flasher into your computer and open the app. And then it will do the automatic updates. If it asks you to close the program and proceed with updates, you simply press yes, accept the license agreement. At this point, we can just unplug the flasher and take it down to the vehicle. So we bring the flasher to the bike. We need to find the diagnostic socket. This is a Euro 5 bike, so it has the standard Euro 5 connecting lead. Whatever bike you have, you will uh, receive the right programming lead for that bike. Simply plug that into there. Now on the main menu, we select work with the tick and the brand is Ducati. The flasher will come already programmed to your specific manufacturer. We click on Ducati and then we select the model that we have. So it's a Multistrada V4 RS. So we select that. Now it will ask you to connect to a stabilized battery supply. If your battery is in good condition and fully charged, you can program it without a stabilized supply. We do stock them. If you do want to purchase one, you can do so. There will be a link in the description below. Switch on the dashboard simply means switch on your ignition. On a motorbike, you've got to ensure that the bike is ready to start. A good indication for that is that you hear the fuel pump priming. Make sure your kill switch is not in the kill position and you press OK. Switch off the dashboard. Now it's just a, a simple case of following the prompts and that has now identified the protocol. The protocol in this instance is 735. Click OK. If you have an option for reading, always take a full read. On this particular bike, we don't have the option for reading, so we're just going to take an ID. Click on ID, please connect your vehicle to a stabilized supply. Switch on the dashboard. Click OK. Task fully completed, and that's it. Okay, we have more options in here under work. For tool, this gives you an option to read diagnostic trouble codes, make adjustments and other functions. Uh, there are options such as uh, resetting your service light. We now disconnect from the bike and take the flasher back up to your computer. Once you've taken the, a read off the file from your vehicle, you simply plug the ECU flasher back into your PC and click on download from ECU flasher. ECU flasher has been detected. You can start the procedure. Simply click next and then you can select a destination to download your folder to. I always find it easiest if you just simply put it on the desktop. Whatever uh, you find most convenient, you can just select that using this button here. Again, we'll use desktop, click OK, and click Next. 
save it to your PC, simply accept that again. Once that's completed, you will see your Flasher file here. All you need to do is send that file to us. One of our map writers will modify that file for you and send it back to you, which you should receive by email. When you receive the modified file back from us, it's just a simple case of uploading that to your ECU flasher. You will need to connect your ECU flasher to the PC with the USB lead and simply click upload to ECU flasher. You start the procedure by pressing next. Then you select the file that you want to upload. Here I've saved it to the desktop. It's called ECU flasher 000 underscore RS because it's for our RS. You can at this point upload multiple files you just keep adding them in to the upload window and then press finish that file is now on the ecu flasher and we simply take the flasher down to the vehicle to upload the file okay so again we're back at the bike plug the diagnostic connector back into the diagnostic socket i have put a voltage supply unit on the bike if you are going to use one of these supply units, it does have to be a stabilized supply. It cannot be a standard charger that you use to charge the battery of your bike. There is a difference. A stabilized supply has a constant 12 volt to it. Chargers will raise and lower the uh, voltage that goes into your battery to charge it in an optimal manner. So to program the bike, at the main menu, we simply select work and then writing. Uh, and this is a file for a standard bike. If you have any modifications and we've written the file for your modifications, we would generally put it in that description for you. It's asking us to connect to uh, the vehicle to a stabilized supply, which we already have done. So we press OK, switch on the dashboard, and then we select OK. We simply follow the prompts that the flasher gives us. It may ask us to switch ignition on and off several times. We just follow those prompts. Switch on the ignition again. Okay. It's perfectly normal for it to ask you to switch on the ignition several times. And then it will go into the programming phase. We can just leave the flasher here and let it go through the programming cycle. It can take five or 10 minutes, depending on your vehicle that you have, but there is a timeline across the bottom. When it reaches the end, it will prompt you again for anything that it needs. So we have a prompt to run the error deletions. Uh, sometimes when we communicate with the ECU, it can generate uh, some diagnostic trouble codes. So we'll just delete those. Switch off the ignition. That's okay. ignition back on and that's the whole procedure completed the device will save some log files uh, these are files that you may need for technical support and then we're back to the home screen and that's the whole procedure completed it's now simply a case of unplugging it from here and going out and enjoying your bike if you do need to put the bike back to standard it is the same procedure again uh, plug the bike into the diagnostic port, click on work, and when we select writing, it will give you an option of original or modified. If you want to go back to the original file, we just select the original and follow the prompts in exactly the same manner that we did the modified file. Well, that's a wrap on the instructional video. If you do need any help at all, please do not hesitate to contact us either by email or in the direct dial telephone number, which is in the description below. Uh, we really do hope you enjoy your uh, mapped vehicle and of course you are covered by our no quibble money back guarantee. If you're not absolutely delighted with your vehicle, then just pop the flasher back in the box and send it to us. We'll issue you with a full refund. And lastly, we do always welcome feedback from our customers. Once you've driven the vehicle, please do drop us an email to tell us how you found it and how you found our service.